Hello and welcome to another day in paradise. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, just one of the races that we have, one of the multitude of races that we have in Africa. Um, and this has been spurned on by um, people in the diaspora believing that black is a race when it isn't. Um, Okay, but first I would like to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, and click the bell notification. Okay, so I've started off, I'm going to start off with the Kushites. Okay, so we're just going to talk briefly about the Kushites today because I think that they are the race on the African continent that is the most, how to say this, peculiar, particular, because they do everything in their power to disassociate themselves with the rest of the African continent. And therefore isolating themselves which hasn't worked out for them in the past, I'm, I might say. I grew up in the United Kingdom, and I remember Live Aid, and I remember them showing us lots and lots of videos as a kid, lots and lots of videos of these children starving in Ethiopia, in the deserts. I think they were running from, uh, from war or whatever, kids with flies over their faces and so forth you know, emaciated. And so, for decades afterwards, decades, this is how most people in Western Europe saw Ethiopia as being, they, they saw it as being a, a country that had no hope. I think it's fair to say that most of us know that the bad times are over for the Ethiopia. Ethiopia have been really enjoying a period of growth uh, in the last two decades, they have um, really brought forward manufacturing. They now enjoy a good quality of life for a lot of people. Not all, not all people, but for a lot of people. They have one of the best airlines, not just in Africa, but on the planet one of the best airlines on the planet. Kushites themselves are quite um, particular. So when I talk about Kushite, Kushitic people, I'm talking about people from Somalia, I'm talking about people from Eritrea, Ethiopia, Djibouti to a, to a, a, a large degree as well. And you also have a lot of um, Kushitic um, people living uh, on the other side of the Arabian Peninsula, which is uh, Yemen uh, and um, yeah, the, 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 around that area, just on the other side of the Red Sea, I believe. Yeah, so um, I'm talking about them type of people. And these people do everything in their power to disassociate themselves with the rest of the African continent. Everything that's negative that's happened in Africa, they like to disassociate themselves, which is strange really because it's not like places like Djibouti, Somalia, Ethiopia um, and Eritrea have very good images internationally. They're, they're not known internationally for being the hotbed of safety and security and for being people who are going to be um, are going to have governments that are going to be good for, to their people although uh, most of the people themselves are good people so like I said they try to disassociate themselves with the rest of Africa and I think to a degree they have a, a reason to do this you know they have a point because they are a completely different race of people. Now this 
may sound strange to you guys because I know that a lot of you, a lot of you who um, who watch the movies, um, you see Somalians. They're really dark skinned, but they're they're different than the average Bantu person that look like me. You can tell a Bantu straight away, pretty much. Um, we are completely different. They have uh, more um, features depending on which area you come from. I mean, you could be Somalian, you can be my color skin, you can be darker than my color skin. And, or you can be Somalian, you could look more Arabic in your skin tone. Okay, so it's, it's a little less about skin tone, more about facial structure and everything else. They are different. Okay? So, what a lot of African diasporans who essentially do the same thing that, their, um, that the other nationalities do, mostly um, Europeans and Europe, Americans of European descent, those types of people who are just calling anyone with dark skin black, you know. Um, what they um, have been, what, the, what they have been doing is they've been doing this exact same thing. So when they go to the continent, they have a problem because straight away they realize that no one calls themselves black on the African continent. Okay? And, and I think a lot of diasporans who are moving back to Africa now are going to struggle with that. They're going to struggle with realizing that all of a sudden they are just a person anymore. You're not a black person anymore. You're not, um, you know, you don't have a code for you. Because, <laughs> so the police aren't going to ring you in and identify you with a code anymore. You're just a normal person all of a sudden. And I... And a lot of people are looking for that, but I think a lot of African diasporans who've been sp spent all their lives, you know, in the United States, they're going to find it difficult to adjust, because all of a sudden they don't stick out until they open their mouths and an American accent comes out, or you start speaking like me, then you will. But yeah, um, they will get a culture shock of their lives when they realize this, and when they realize that most Ethiopians, most Eritreans won't even look at them in a kinder face than that what they would look at if they was to see a white person. If you're a white person, you meet an, uh, an Eritrean, you're more likely to get nice, nice feedback from that, from that person than if you were me. And this is just the way they are. And it's horrible to say this, but it's the truth. You know, and this is the reason why I'm trying to educate people and tell them, hey, listen, you can't use the word black as a race. You know, you can't call yourselves black. Why? Because if you ever go to the African continent, you're going to realize that for one, the black race doesn't exist. For two, um, there are going to be many people who are going to be offended by you calling them that. Okay? There are going to be many people who are going to be offended. Your, your Cushitic Kush, people are going to be, broadly, those types of people who are going to be offended if you call them black. Okay? They're not going to be offended because, eh, you know, uh, they're going to be offended because you're associating them with Bantus, like me. Okay? If you was to associate them with an Arab, They'll be like, yeah, yeah, maybe. And this is the way it is. It's unfortunate, um, but it is the way it is over there on the Horn of Africa. So anyway, uh, th I just wanted to to have that quick chat with you. That was just one of the races. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Nilotes next because I think they would that would be fun to do. So uh, I'm going to leave you with that please don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have questions underneath and i will see you in the next one tarara bit